Sideways here, we're gonna show you how to change a 10 or 11 inch scooter tire. It's not too bad if you know what you are doing, hence this video, an extra pair of hands also can't hurt. Let's get started. All right, we're gonna do a tire change on the Dragon. Uh, I'm gonna get getting it ready to be sold. Looks pretty good. I cleaned it up yesterday and just there's not much tread left in these tires and it's got a hole, got all the uh, tire goo coming out. But um, replace them with these. All right, let's start changing our scooter tires. So we've got a bottle of soapy water. An important step, don't skip this. This is gonna help you and the tire uh, slip onto the rim nice and easy. Um, doing it dry is no fun for anyone. And we're just gonna push as much as we can our rim into our tire here. So these are not tubeless, although they are tubeless tires. We did not have a tubeless valve on hand. We did have a tube on hand. We wanted to get this scooter out the door. It had been sitting around for far too long. It wanted to sell it and it was approaching summertime and it was time to get that thing on the market. So we're gonna walk our spoons around and definitely invest in a pair of tire spoons. They're not expensive, maybe $10, $15 from your favorite web store and they just make life a lot easier. An extra pair of hands also cannot hurt. And we're gonna just walk our spoons around here until our rim goes inside our tire. There's a bit of effort involved, which is why I thought putting this video online could definitely help some people. I found a lot of videos who were just like, oh, here you go, change a tire, and then magically the tire was on the rim. It was a bit cruel um, because this is definitely the most challenging part of changing a tire. It's not easy. Um, and doing it for the first time is a challenge, but um, it is possible. And give it a try. All right, we've got our um, tire on the, over the first lip, and we're just gonna start preparing to put our tube in now. Definitely have a spare tube on hand. We pinched the first one, or maybe I did. My friend didn't. I definitely did, and I um, I, I had to give up and give him a red bait, give him a buzz. Teamwork definitely makes the dream work. You definitely want to do this in a nice well lit area. We're just sitting on the um, my mate's front entry here. Um, doing it in the dark would be no fun. A well lit space is always is always a good thing. Now this is where you want definitely want that second uh, tube in case you pinch the first one. Practice makes perfect, of course. We'll throw a few more cliches in if we can. <laughs> We're just gonna run that tube inside the tire. Of course, this would be easier on a tubeless, um, but we didn't have a valve insert, and we had to cut the um, cut the tubeless valve off uh, when we're taking the tire apart. We're just gonna pull that valve stem through the rim. And 
uh, we're going to be on to the next step. So we're going to try to uh, very carefully, without pinching the tube, uh, seat the tire onto the rim. We're just getting our um, little uh, tire, a tube extender on to get our um, air pump out of the way. Uh, air pump adapter out of the way of the rim just so we have a bit more space to work with with the tire spoons we just want to start put a little bit of air in there just to get the uh, tube blown up a little bit again a lot of caution is needed to not pinch that tube Take your time, go slow. Now we're gonna to try to get that uh, get that tire over the rim. And slowly work our way around. More soapy water, it does definitely um, you can go hard on that. Don't be shy to use a soapy water. Lubrication is always nice. And when you're using your tire spoons, again, just be careful not to pinch that tube. Of course, it's um, you're manhandling a bit of rubber here, so um, you know things happen. But um, just use a bit of caution. I'm gonna slide that. Spoon around, done. We are ready to throw some air and inflate that tube. And we're just gonna keep pumping until our tire seats its bead on the rim. And I'll show you when that happens. We'll have a nice satisfying pop. See the uh, tire slide across the rim, up into the rim face. And these are one-piece uh, rims, by the way. They do not split because it is a uh, it is a tubeless design. Tubeless is nice, but changing them can be a pain in the ass. Hear that nice pop? That is the bead seating on the rim. That is what you are after. So uh, once you hear that pop, you are good to go. And um, yeah, we're done. We have our tire changed. We're ready to go. And yeah, hope you found that uh, enjoyable. Best of luck. See you next time. <laughs>